So as you know, stepping up in complexity a little bit at a time, I think this level is mostly about the particle field. And I actually don't know about the game design process as much, but you remember that there wasn't a symbol for particle fields. There's a symbol like this, there's the symbol for flinging... Oh look, there's a different one. Anyway, we'll talk about that later. There's a symbol for flinging... There's a symbol for, you know, the cube and all that, but there's no symbol for particle fields. I'm just wondering if these were added later on in the design process or not. Anyway. So here, one, you're out of the portal, and then you fire the gun to make a second portal. So again, basically these symbols are telling you exactly what to do, and this is... Yeah, it's a new game mechanic that you're being introduced to. Although you could have done this the whole time, of course. So here, there's that, there's that, so that... You know, the, the extended panel means that you should put a portal there. And if you just walk out, you get nothing. You get this. Oops, wrong one. And then as the symbols on the floor says, you want to fire as you jump through. And we can't go back, unfortunately, but you can see through the glass here, again, there's a checkerboard pattern there where you're meant to put the portal. So again, it's giving you a target to put the portal. And interestingly, there's a checkerboard there as well. Oh, okay, I see. So we put it somewhere on the checkerboard. That's gonna work. And the next part is to put the pellet into that switch. Again with the angles and the bouncing and reflections and all that. I mean unless you start putting portals down here you can't really get yourself killed. If you do that you can, but if you do that then you're kind of stupid. Um, let's just solve the puzzle because I know already in fact. Yeah so again there's the light. You can see how the switch actually shines a light onto there. And wherever the, the pellet goes, it leaves a mark, so you know where it's bouncing as well. Which is useful, anyway. The answer is to do that. And then we have to get back out. There's no checkerboard on this side, that's interesting. In fact, there's no extended panel on this side, neither, but the exit is there. So for the last one, they don't give you the clue. So whereas all the ones before, they give you these clues. Although that's quite subtle, actually. I'm not sure if you notice it, but if you do, then, then that's easy. But for the last um, fling, they don't actually tell you where to put the portals. But I mean, if you've done it so many times before and you still can't figure it out, then maybe... Maybe you're not, you know, doing it right. Uh... Oh, this. I shouldn't just go through it. I should actually try to look at it with fresh eyes. So, the arrow points you to the exit. That's good. The exit, exit, right. The platforms are coming towards you. So, actually, before I... yeah. Now, I'm trying to remember how obvious this was when I first played. It's a long time ago. I think, you know, this, this first part is quite obvious here. You want to use the portal to get further along. I guess it's not too complex. The, the platforms move backwards, so you use the portals to move forward. You know, like that. I think we can... yep, we can do that. I think the very first time I solved the puzzle, I did this. Just, you know, sat on the platform until we got to the end. Obviously you can just jump through any time you want. Huh, it's interesting. Once you arrive in the room, these things 
retract. I mean, obviously the sound and the movement draws your attention to it. And you have this, again, that makes a sound and it moves and it's bright orange, so that draws your attention to it as well. There's that, which as you remember, is an indication that you should put a portal there. And then there's these lines leading up to those doors indicating that you should do something. The radio's in there, by the way. Let's see... So, number two... Press the switch. Door opens, you can hear the ticking. So it's a timed puzzle. It's quite a long timer, actually. And then there's the other one. We can we walk over there. You notice how these things are arranged are arranged as well. So the f this one opens the one in front, which you can see from here. So when you do this, you can see it opening, and there's dots on the on doors as well. So you can see number one, number two, and number two switches back there. And when you open, when you press that switch. You're back there. So if you look out the window, you can see the door opening behind it. So again, you can see what's going on. They've arranged the room, they've arranged the switches and the glass and everything so that you can see the effects of these buttons. Like you don't have to guess. You can see it. And again, that's important for you know, just making the puzzle legible, right? Making it so that you can see how it works. And by now, you can, it's pretty obvious that you need to open both of them at the same time, because the pallet switch is behind it. And you need to get the pallet into the switch. So, uh, the solution is to do that. And then when both are open... Did you know? You can donate one or all of your vital organs to the Aperture Science of the Steam Fund for Girls. It's true. <laughs> donate one or all of your vital organs. Uh, let's see, I think we can... I, don't, I know I said I'm not going to do the, the radio thing. But I'm just curious about how to get that radio. Let me just... Oh, wrong way. Let's try that again. I think that's what you do, like you fling yourself into there, like that. I'm not gonna... Try this one more time. Ah, oh, there we go. Through no fault of the enrichment center, you have managed to trap yourself in this room. An escape hatch will open in three, two, one. <laughs> wow. Oh wow, that's cool. I wonder how that works. Like, obviously they designed this puzzle. Did they add that afterwards? Because, you know, when you make a puzzle and if you give it to smart people, then the smart people are going to try and break your puzzle, obviously. Especially if you ask them to. And I guess someone along the way figured out that you can get into there, although there's no idea why you would want to do that. And then once you got in, then GLaDOS says, through no... did you say no, through no fault of your own you've managed to trap yourself in this room? It's actually quite difficult to get into here. And maybe if they just, you know, made it so that the black surface was out here a little bit, then there's actually no way to get into there. Like, if they wanted to avoid you going into there, they could have done it. But that's more amusing, right? Getting yourself stuck and then having GLaDOS rescue you. Anyway, we can move on to the next part. There's a lot of that, actually, in the, in the whole game. 
like there are places you can get to that you're not meant to and glitches and whatnot. If you look in the in YouTube for Portal 2 speedruns or secrets and things like that, you'll find all sorts of funny stuff that people do. And I think part of the like what I like about One of the things I like about Valve is that they support this kind of thing. Like if you break the game, they don't just ignore it or they don't just, you know, remove your ability to break it. They actually, you know, they left that in. They left it in so that you can actually get into that space, even though you're not meant to. And then instead of preventing you from getting in, they actually added in like a little amusing reward. Like if you go in, then then. GLaDOS makes a little joke about it, and it's kind of funny that you, get, that you get yourself trapped in there, right? So they reward this kind of ingenuity, they reward exploring, and if you do find these Easter eggs, and then they reward you for it, so it's, it's fun. Due to mandatory scheduled maintenance, the appropriate chamber for this testing sequence is currently unavailable. It has been replaced with a live fire course designed for military androids. The Enrichment Center apologizes for the inconvenience and wishes you the best of luck. <laughs> the best of luck. So now we are introduced to... turrets. Wait, can that turret see me from there? It's deploying. It can. Well, not really. Okay, anyway. So 16, we have cubes and we have turrets. And as, as she said, live fire androids. So, see this is important. You walk up to here and you get shot at, but it's behind the glass so you're safe. And the first turret you actually get to interact with is facing away from you. So here, like, they're letting you see the turrets and they're communicating to you firstly how they work, like they, ex they deploy and then they search and then they shoot you. And they also talk a little bit. They show you the exit. So they're, they're showing you all the parts of the puzzle before you're in any danger and so obviously if they see you they'll shoot at you and then the line the laser that shoots out of their face that, that shows you what they're looking at and if you see all this and you still walk in front of it then oh that's interesting I was actually trying to walk in front of it but you can't even do that like if you try to sneak past it you'll knock it over and then it, it deactivates once you've knocked it over. So there's no way to fail this first turret, right? Okay, that, they're kind of loud. Like they're telling you what what the stuff is, and even if you try to fail it just by just walking past, you would knock it over. And in knocking it over, you see that by knocking it over, you deactivate them. And then that's how you get past them. So even there, like, they're teaching you the game mechanics in a way that's completely safe for you, at least at the start. So now we have this, the laser, and by now you should be able to associate this with a turret. Activated. And if you can't, then you see it there. Uh, what should I do? I mean, I can... Like they give you the opportunity to have cover if you just walk through and you don't realize that the laser is a turret then by now you can see that it is I think we can actually run past this one let me just try this I mean obviously there's all these surfaces where you can put portals and you can use portals to get past who's there? target lost ah you can run past Let's just knock him Goodbye. over there we go. Down. 